What's cracking, everyone? Lewis here over at Martial Artistry. I'm back just taking a quick opportunity to paint a 30-minute galaxy. I did this on my lunch break. Wanted to record something, trying out new equipment, but I always, my go-to is to paint a galaxy because it's the thing that I enjoy to paint the most. So in this painting, I started out by basing it with a black, wicked opaque black from Createx Colors. Now I'm using an opaque white that's reduced, over reduced. Um, I've probably got this 10 drops of reducer to two drops of paint. I'm spraying at roughly 25 PSI. That way I have a little more control with this and it doesn't skate all over the canvas. What I mean by skating is when you get too close to the surface and start spraying to do finer detail, it will spider web out, meaning the paint is separated so much that it won't adhere to the surface. So what I do to offset that is to turn the air pressure down and start from a further out distance so that I can work my way in starting what they say loose to tight. I pick up all of my paint supplies from over at spraygunner.com. They've got a really good selection of all of the supplies that I use on not only my canvas paintings but also the hydrosport bottles that I paint. I put links to the, all the products in the description below. You can go through both Spray Gunner's site as well as HD Stencil's site. I'm going to use an, an HD Stencil a little later in the process just briefly but wanted to mention their great product as well. I'm using a freehand circle template to lay out and simulate where my moon and planet are going to be. I'm just, again, using opaque white. It is very over reduced. That way I have the opportunity to lay in some of our design very roughly before I start to add color. I'll be using some candy colors a little later as well as some wicked detail colors to lay in what will be our nebula clouds. As you can see, I'm using a Gerald Mendez textured effects stencil here to continue working the clouds in. I use those very, very often to kind of rough in what the clouds are gonna look like and then I'll go back in and freehand in my details that I want, highlights and shadows, etc. If you can, take an opportunity to hit like hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications the likes definitely do help us with the youtube algorithm and the subscription if you can ring the bell that way you'll get notified every time we drop some content here i'm using the larger of the two textured effects stencil sets and bouncing back and forth where i can actually really lay in big clouds and go back in and layer in little clouds and leave space just dead space in between that way i can make it a deep dark galaxy with a lot of depth knowing that this is going to be our first layer and we're going to have several layers coming after this i'm not too worried about making mistakes here you're always going to be able to layer in a whole nother layer of color and white on top of that color to give yourself i've found that the saying of the more layers the better really holds true i find that Every time that I layer in a layer and adjust and alter the colors just a little bit and add a little more detail, that painting comes to life. In this instance, I am not using a reference photo. I'm just making this up off the top of my head. Again, I said I was painting this during my lunch break. So I'm making it a point to add as much imaginary detail as I can here, making sure to have a lot of fun adding a lot of white paint because I know that I'll be coming back over this at least one more time with white paint to kind of pull out some highlights. 
if you're getting some value out of this definitely hit that like button hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications it definitely helps with the youtube algorithm we are a channel that's seeking to grow and so that's why we're making it a point to make more of these tutorial style videos people seem to like our galaxy videos so i very much appreciate that and i'm trying to add more of this to our collection if you haven't checked out our playlists I've got a couple playlists going with galaxies as well as hydrosport bottles, um, canvas paintings. That way you guys can kind of binge watch as needed. Here I'm taking a little bit of, I believe this one is our marine blue candy paint. It's mixed with 4050 as well as 4011. I don't have a specific ratio because I'm bouncing back and forth between three different airbrushes. This is how I'm able to kind of bounce between colors in a short period of time. So one's got marine blue, one has white, and one has uh, the lightest of the blue candy paints. Carib Blue, that's the name of it, Carib Blue. It's the one that I like the most out of the three blue candy paints, but I found if you mix them together, oh my gosh, they come up with some phenomenal colors. Very vibrant after you add clear coat on top. I love the fact that they are so transparent and you can just layer and layer and layer and make it deeper and darker and more and more rich. So I love working with the candy paints personally. As you can see, I'm tinting all of the white that we just went over with multiple shades of blue and purple. I'm going over the stars, everything in preparation for adding one more layer but this quick style tutorial will at least get you going on how to layer in the clouds for a galaxy as we're getting closer to the end of this video i just want to take a moment and revisit a couple of key topics number one we are using very over reduced paint and when you over reduce the paint it will cause the paint to spider web spider webbing is where the you're really close to the surface and it is causing the paint to just blow out it hits the surface and spider webs out in an effort to offset that we've lowered our air pressure that way we have more control and we're able to get closer to the surface thus allowing more detail we're using lots of layers the first layer was white then we've added variations of blue and purple and now we're adding more white to add highlights or simulate that there is a light source i'm going back in over this moon to separate it from our background i'm using the freehand shield so that we don't ruin the artwork that we've already got you'll see me starting to work in some more detail on these clouds but this is again a multi-layer process you're not going to get it all in one layer you're not going to get it in two layers there are times where you can but if you really want to push yourself to the limit you're going to do multiple layers and then take a step back and say hey i want to add this here hey i want to i want to brighten that star up in the bottom left hand corner i want it to be another light source oh well that means that i'll have to change these clouds just a little bit to add more of a highlight that's what i'm doing with the planet here there's a light source so now i have to add more highlights to get make it look more three-dimensional <laughs> Again, if you're getting any value out of this video, definitely hit like, hit subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. That way you get notified every time we drop some new content. If you're interested, definitely check out one of our playlists. We've got Canvas playlist. We've also got some Hydrosport bottle playlists. 
And with that, I'm going to ring off and we're going to look forward to seeing you guys all again very soon. Here we are at the end. I appreciate you and look forward to seeing you guys all again very soon. Thank you and peace out.